two fingers press out at a time. Two. Yeah. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Very good for a bend though. And should you be looking at look at your big toes, Jeff, uh, again. Look at your big toes. Now bring the head back to where it was. Because no, before. Yeah. That actually looks better. That looks better than looking at the big toes. So I would say that if someone comes down less than 45 degrees, they should look at the big toes. That is the drusty, that is the gaze point. But if they're further down, like this, then as long as she keeps, she doesn't round the upper back so much, she can actually bring the head, to, she can gaze downwards. Like really bring the head down a lot. Really. That's too much. She's rounding here too much and the head is not in a good position. That is pretty good. Okay? She doesn't need to gaze at the big toes. So, backs of the knees push down. Outer edges of the feet pull back. Big toe joints and inner heels push forward. You don't have to use this, but just to show you, she's pushing her feet into the block. Still, the feet are dorsiflex. Soft shoulders, elbows out to the sides. All right? And then, you might want to just place the hands here, and you can feel the breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You okay? You can bring your forehead to your shin. Inhale, exhale. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm pushing with my thighs. My thighs pressing against my elbows are pushing her forward. Alternatively, you might want to do this. You okay? Breathe. The more I bend my elbows, the more weight I put on her. I'm actually trying to push slightly forward and down. You okay? Mm -hmm. Forward and down. So I can control exactly how much weight I'm putting on her by bending my elbows. Sometimes you can take your hands completely off the floor in certain people. Inhale, pull on your toes forward. Full extension. Exhale, go forward, take the hands over the tops of the feet. Go back down. Soft, good. Inhale, extend, straight elbows, look up. Exhale, interlock the fingers around your feet. No, no, just interlock, that would be fine. So, big toes, Paschimottanasana A. Hands over the tops of the feet, Paschimottanasana B. Interlocking the fingers, Paschimottanasana C. Inhale, look up. Exhale, go forwards and hold your right hand in. Hold your right wrist in your left hand. Paschimottanasana D. Holding the wrist. The thing is, with Paschimottanasana C, you just interlock the fingers. And that's it. You don't go, there's you nowhere else to go. But if you, hold, if you do D and hold the wrist, you can eventually get them to bring the hand further up towards the forearm. And like I mentioned the other day, I've seen people who could hold the elbow. But they were from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Thank you. 